Okay, in this video, I am going to show you three ways that you can place an Illustrator file into an InDesign document. Um, as you can see here on the right hand side, I have the color swatch palette open in InDesign. And as you can see, I've removed the generic colors uh, that come with InDesign um, because I want, I want to have the unique colors that I'm going to bring into InDesign so that I can work with them. So anyway, let's start with step number one. Actually, one the first way that you can bring an Illustrator file is you can select the, a graphic frame in InDesign, create the frame, and then go File, drop down to Place. All right, navigate your way to the Illustrator file you want to place in the document, and you'll see it'll come right in. Now, one thing to note is that when you bring it in, change this to high quality display, when you bring this in, it's going to bring in, no matter what size the frame is that you create, it's going to bring it in at actual size. If you take the direct selection tool and you just put, you just hover over the frame, you'll see this orange frame that's going to go like around the outside. And if you just click and keep your finger on it, it'll show you the rest of the image, the image that you cannot see that's in this frame. But anyway, when you create the frame, you bring it in, it will always bring it in at actual size. Okay, let's take a look at the next way. And as you can also see, it brought in the two colors that were in that Illustrator file. Okay, so let's take a look at the other way. The other way, we'll do a file, place. Now, instead of, if you notice right now, we just, um, we did not have a frame. We're just gonna just go file, place, navigate our way to the image, hit okay. And then you can either click and drop, or you can click and drag. Okay, the difference between the two is when you click and drop, it comes in at actual size. When you click and drag, you can bring it in at whatever size you want it to be, large or small, and it will automatically create the frame, and the image will be comfortably seated in that frame. And it will also, of course, bring in these, in this case, there are two Pantone colors that were uh, built into the, to the Illustrator file. And um, you'll see that in the color palette. So you have the two ways that we talked about just now so far is to create a frame and then place it in the frame or do the file place, click and drop, and then click and drag. Okay, so now those are the two ways. Now with those two ways, I'm gonna clear the, clear the page again. With those two ways, uh, in both cases, you're creating an asset. You're putting an asset on that page, which, which means that there's going to be something that needs to travel with the job. For example, I'll do that again. If I say uh, file, I'll go down to place, okay, and then I'll just do a click and drag, all right, or click, yeah, I'll do a click and drag, all right, and then I've just put the, the image there. And then when I go over to my links, you'll see that there is an asset there. That's the asset right there that's in the uh, links folder. So now we know that there is something that has to travel with the job. But the third way is a little different. The third way is very, very interesting, and it's something that if you can, it's really pretty cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here to the color palette, all right, and I'm gonna remove these colors that are there, okay? I will say, you will see, I'll select them both, all right? And then I'll just delete them. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do is, we're going to go to the actual the native file, the actual Illustrator file. Let's do a Command A. I'm going to copy Command A or Control A if you're on your PC. Copy that image from Illustrator. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to InDesign and I'm going to do a Command V or Control V. And in this case, what I did was I just copied and pasted from one to the other. And as you can see, the results are still the same. You have the image. And you have the colors that are attached to that image. Okay, great. But you might say, what's the big deal? What's the difference? Well, the difference is, this is not an asset. This is an object. What does that mean? Well, first, if I go to the links panel, you see there's nothing there. Because this is now an object. And why could that make a difference? Well, not to say that you would want to do this. But let's say you were creating a graphic that you wanted to change the colors right there in InDesign. Well, since this is an object, you can select anything, 
any part of that object, you can select it, and then you can change the color. In this case, I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna change it to uh, I don't know maybe I'll change it to a light blue. Or maybe I'll change the outer shell to uh, maybe I'll change it to a uh, oh I don't know maybe a green. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here, and I'll make that maybe a green. So in other words, because these are objects, and I can even do things like even change the shape. I can grab that that uh, anchor point right there, and I could change the shape. So because it is not it is not an image or an asset, it is not an object, you have options. You can change colors, you can change the shape, and you don't have to worry about packaging it because it's an object that's already on the document. So anyway, that's how you can, those are the three ways that you can work with uh, bringing an Illustrator file into an InDesign document. Remember, it's you can file place by actually placing it into a frame, or you can do file place where you click and drop where it comes in at actual size, click and drag, you can scale it, or you can copy and paste it directly from Illustrator.